Hi guys, so I'm inside a 2012 Chevy Volt. Uh, this car was involved in a rear end accident and therefore the car wouldn't start. Uh, we put a jumper on it, uh, the power would come on, but the car wouldn't start. Um, so right here I have an auto maxi says that I connected to it. And basically uh, what happened with the vehicle was it when the, during the accident, since it's a hybrid or electric vehicle, uh, it triggered uh, crash data and therefore cut off the power to the hybrid system or the electrical system so it wouldn't start. Uh, so what I did is you uh, connect to the scanner. Once you're in the scanner, um, you go to diagnosis, you auto scan, and, it's, and right here is gonna pop up all the modules in the vehicle. Um, I'm gonna show you how to clear the crash data and reset the modules so that you could uh, jump start the car or you can start the vehicle and, and drive it so you could continue with the repairs. Um, so just waiting for all the modules to be read. Um, of course, it's gonna have a bunch of uh, DTCs. Um, DTC stands for Diagnostic Trouble Code, uh, for those who don't know. Um, in this case, faults. So as you can see, all the modules that have faults um, is showing um, okay so now it's it's done it's a hundred percent so first thing you want to do is you go into the inflatable restraint ses sensing and diagnostic module module which basically um, is the airbag module and it's also known as the SDM module sensing and diagnostic module uh, so you can see it has four faults so you click click on it then right here in this screen you're gonna go to special functions and you're gonna see an option that says reset high voltage disable request after crash event detected so you click on that <clears throat> It's gonna say procedure in progress and then procedure is complete. So that reset the crash data on the SDM, the <coughs> sensing diagnostic module. <coughs> you click continue, <coughs> you go back. So the car still won't start at this moment. What you still have to do is you still have to go to the hybrid powertrain control module and there's two, there's hybrid powertrain control module and a hybrid power control module two. So you click on the first one. Then you go to active test and you go to clear secured high voltage DTC. You clear that, you press on that. You click continue. and then you click reset and that's gonna reset it. Then you S, escape, you exit. <coughs> exit one more time and again. And then you're gonna go to the hybrid powertrain control module two and do the same. Again, go to active test and clear secured high voltage DTC. And then reset. If you haven't cleared the crash data from the SDM module, this one, this one won't reset. So the fact that right now it says reset <coughs> means that it should be good. So you can exit. And now the car should be able to start and you should be able to drive it. Um, thank you for watching. I will leave a link in the description of the video uh, with the scanner that I'm using um, in case you're interested in buying one. Uh, this is a great scanner. You could do a lot of uh, a lot of things that the dealer can. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I'm sick. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.